Hello YouTube, this is Win5387 here with another Mac that I decided to show everybody who's seen my How to Mac videos that were on Mac OS 10.10 10, uh, Yosemite and 10.11 El Capitan. Here is the MacBook that is responsible for making those videos. And uh, it is a 2010 unibody and it's very nice condition as you can see. I have reports over here. I have a unibody style uh, polycarbonate finish and a super drive. So the first thing I would do is, uh, well, let's look at these ports on the left side of the machine. So as you can see here, we have a Kensington lock port, a headphone port, and also a sound input port. So it can be used for both sound output and input. Two USB ports, a mini display port, an Ethernet port and a MagSafe power connector. And then as you saw on the other side, I have a super drive. So let me go ahead and open up the MacBook. Here it is. We have our glass multi-touch trackpad, a full-size keyboard, 13.3 inch LCD screen, and the power button. Here is the startup chime and the 13 inch LCD screen. And of course, this thing is booting up into macOS 10.11 El Capitan. That is a uh, fast at booting up into uh, its operating system as my retired MacBook, mainly because there's uh, a lot more stuff on the hard drive, so maybe that affects it. And there it is. So let's first look at about this Mac. So as you can see here it is a 13 inch MacBook mid 2010 with a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 8 gigabytes of 1067 megahertz DDR3 RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce 320M with 256 megabytes of graphics memory. So let's go ahead and uh, check out our applications in here. So as you can see we have a, a few different apps. We have some Adobe, Game Center, iDVD, iTunes, Microsoft Office, Photos, Safari, Time Machine, and the utilities such as the Activity Monitor, the new Disk Utility, Migration Assistant, and system information. And we're just going to go ahead and check out one of these apps. I'll try doing a non-Apple non developed app. I'll do Mac Tracker. And this is an app that you can download from the App Store or if you check out their website you can download apps for different versions of Mac OS X. So you can download, they have archived versions of this application. And the main idea of this application is to give you the history and timeline of all of Apple's products since they were uh, introduced in 1976. So as you can see here, we have our newest products, such as the uh, new Apple TV, the iMac Retina 5 and 4K, and the new iPads and iPhones and iPods, and our other accessories such as the Magic Mouse and the Siri Remote. And then you can just check out one of these different devices. So let's say I want to go back to 2000, check out one of my favorite Macs, the Power Mac G4 Cube. We get the entire history of that Mac. We have our general information, such as the processors and the colors and the hard drives, and also the peripherals. 
And you have the software that came with that Mac when it was brand new. The memory came max out at 1.5 gigabytes for the G4 Cube. And many more things. You have ports and connections, the history, and some notes. Oh, and you can also listen to the startup chime. Just by clicking on the uh, little thumbnail. And yeah, maybe we could check out another one of a, a special Mac, the original Macintosh in 1984, the 128K. That's its startup chime. <laughs> and you get its processors and stuff. 8 megahertz. Very, very slow by today's standards. And it came with Macintosh system software 1.0. You have your ports and stuff that came with this Mac. Many, many ancient ports that we don't see today at all and memory and graphics and the history of that Mac so of course as I said the main idea of this app is to give you history of all their products you can even get some history on their uh, software so I can go to here to system software 7.5 which is on the Macintosh Performer for 76 and you get the general history of that operating system which is as you can see there's a whole lot for system 7.5 and it's general information such as when it was introduced and the system requirements there's a lot of different things that uh, Mac Tracker has they even have speakers that you don't really see today some uh, old speakers that Apple made and everything that nobody would really see which is very interesting. And up until 2000 or so is when most of the products, famous product names that we have now, such as iMac and MacBook, it's uh, when those were all known to the world. So, that is Mac Tracker. So then, hope you enjoyed this quick video on this mid-2010 MacBook running Mac OS 10.11, El Capitan, and with a 2.4 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo. Thanks for watching this video, and good luck.